whether your site has been indexed in a Google or not, which specific page is ranking in the Google and which specific page is exactly driving a traffic to your website. Not only that, for which keyword you are ranking in the Google and to which specific page Google is sending you most of the traffic. If you have all these queries, all the sensors can be figured out with the help of a Google tool called Google Search Console. So guys, in this video, we will discuss how to add Google Search Console with your WordPress website so that you can have tracking of all these records. Remember, this video will be divided into two parts. Number one, we'll do a complete integration of your WordPress site with the Google Search Console. And in number two, I will give you a brief overview how the Search Console will look like once it will be integrated. So guys, my name is Kirtish Vyas from bloggingos.com and on this channel, I do create a helpful tips around how to WordPress and a review of digital marketing tools to make your journey easier. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comment box what's your next query so I will make a video around it. Without any further delay, let's jump onto the screen. So here you, you can see on the screen, if you go on Google and simply type Google Search Console, so this is the screen you will figure it out click to the first link. So this is the tool which we will be linking with our website. There are two ways. Number one, you can simply follow through this web version, which will be a little bit complicated for a beginner. So instead of this, we will use a plugin method. Well, so how to do that? Step number one, log into your WordPress dashboard, come back to the add new plugin section under plugin, and then search here a plugin called site kit. So I will go there, simply search site kit. The moment when you will search it, this is the first plugin which we will be installing. Remember, this plugin has three plus million active installations and the best part is this plugin is developed by Google itself. That means there is, this is 100% free, there is no premium version. The best part is this plugin not only create your search console or integrate with your search console account, instead it will also offer you a unique integration with Google other tool such as Google Analytics, Google Page Speed Checker, Google Tag Manager, and Google AdSense as well. So it's a one-stop solution for all your Google product linking. Now, head over back to your WordPress dashboard, click to install now. Now click to activate. Finally, we have done the installation of the plugin and on the left hand side, you will figure out there is a site kit been added. Now this time is to start a setup. That means you have to tell Google site kit, which Google account you would like to link so that within that it will start creating all the Google other product account. So come to the screen, select this checkbox, accept the condition, sign in with Google. Remember the moment when you will click it, sign in with Google, it will ask you to link with one of your Google account. And this is the only requirement to have this integration. You must have a Google account. And for that, I'll be using here my Gmail ID, bloggingoshelp at the red gmail.com. Then click to continue, go to next screen. Now, this time is already you have to verify your website. Remember, in your case, it might ask you to verify. In my case, I have already done, so it says already verified. Click to next, go to the next screen. It will ask you to pull all the data, go to the next. This is the area where it will set up your search console account. So remember, this is the area where you have to say set up. That means it will create your search console account and it will integrate your website with that. Go to next. The moment once you are done with that, simply your search console integration is completed. But as I said, this plugin not only link with your search console account, but with other tools like Google Analytics as well. So if you wanted to know how to integrate with the Google Analytics, we already created a detailed video on it. The link in the description as well as in the I button. So for time being, we'll skip this part. So go to the settings section and verify whether your search console account says it's connected or not. If it is, Click to this icon, go back to your search console account. Remember, the moment when you will click it, make sure you logged in with a right Gmail account. So here I have logged in with the right Gmail account. Under this, along with other site, you can see teachku.com is already been added. So that's how you will integrate your search console with your WordPress website. And this is not the end. What I would highly recommend is make sure after creating your Google search account, you also link a sitemap. What is sitemap? Simple thing. If you go to the bloggingos.com and simply go to the sitemap 
underscore index.sml and go to the pause section. So this is the area where Google will get an idea on my website, how many posts, how many pages and which one is recently updated. So that's how this can help you in search engine optimization as well. So for our site, in order to create a sitemap, go back, install a plugin called Rank Math. That's a SEO plugin. So I will go there, type Rank Math. You will find here first plugin, just install, activate, this is a free plugin. You don't have to do anything. We are just creating a sitemap. So install and activate. Now then after, click to skip now, go back. At the bottom, you will figure it out, return to dashboard. Now on the dashboard section, if you scroll at the bottom, you will find out there is a sitemap section. Make sure it is enabled. Go to the settings section. So this is the sitemap of our website. Now what we have to do is make sure you submit your sitemap within your search console account. So I will go there, click to the sitemap, paste it here. Remember the domain is already there. So delete this part, sitemap and then submit it. So this is the only step you have to follow and you will figure out your sitemap is successfully submitted. Remember when you will be submitting it first time, it might say unknown or might try to fetch the record. So wait for 24 hours, then figure out whether its status shows success or not. So that's the simple steps you have to follow to integrate your WordPress website with the Google Search Console. Now I will give you a walkthrough on how it will look like once it will start capturing all the data. Under the performance summary, you should be able to see how many impressions, how many clicks, what pages, what queries are ranking. And for that, you can refer to this one of my site account. Here you will figure it out easily that on daily basis, I'm getting 60, 70 impressions and around 20 clicks from Google search. And that is organic traffic. If you will scroll down, you will figure out all the queries you can have here that for which query people are typing in Google and for that, how many clicks I'm getting, which specific page of my website is getting a traffic. So which country I'm getting a traffic. And for more, if you go to the sitemap section, under that, if you will click this, you will figure out whether your site has any issue, how many pages it has indexed, or all about your site and its detail with the Google. Hopefully you got a clear idea what exactly Google Search Console is, how exactly you can integrate it with your WordPress website and how you can capture all this data for your site monitoring purpose. If you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe this video, like the video and let me know in the comment box what is the next video you needed so I will make something similar. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one.